the Joseph Smith Memorial Building. Now I'm at the Orem Walmart. I'm here at the UC Senior Center. So I'm gonna go inside University Mall and I'm gonna go find some people and see what meaning these words hold for them. So let's go. Okay. I'm here with Mike and Lauren. I'm just gonna give you a couple words. And all you have to do is tell me what you know about it. If you don't know what it is, then just tell me what you think it might be. What is ASL? Do you know what that is? ASL. Uh, A S L. American Sign Language. American Sign Language. Do you know what ASL is? No. Uh, and I'm working on it. Working on it. We'll um, give them a second. A A S L. Give me a hand. ASL. Is that American? Yeah. American Sign Language. American Sign Language. American Sign Language? Yeah. Inheritance. Yeah. Help me out. Here. Can we give him hands? Yeah. I think it's American Sign Language, right? Female there? She got it. She got it. American, American Sign, Sign Language. Did it go up? If I say sign language, what does that encompass? Talking with not necessarily using your mouth. Um, so talk with using your mouth and hands, kind of other body language as well. Yeah, so sign language. I think of sign language, I don't know. It's the way for people to communicate who are deaf. Uh, I believe sign language um, is just an important way of communicating for those who um, can't speak or are deaf and uh, and so they can communicate with others more effectively. Uh, using your hands to tell a story, tell instead of words. Speaking with actions. Yeah. If I say hard of hearing, what is the concept of that? Like, what does that entail? Uh, hard of hearing, someone that chooses, someone that can choose not to hear if they don't want to hear. Um, generally, partially deaf. If it's loud, background sounds, a lot of people can't hear the conversation on that, so. You can't hear like other people. Your ears don't have to come out. Part of hearing, what comes to mind? Me. My age. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a hard of hearing. Age. That just means uh, people like me who don't hear very well anymore, <laughs> and we're sort of losing our hearing slightly, uh, and so we give them that phrase that we're hard of hearing when we just don't hear quite as well as we used to. What is mainstreaming? Uh, mainstreaming is getting everybody to do the same thing, even though it might not be the best for them. Hmm. Mainstream. Mainstream. Yes. That's when you try to put deaf children in a regular class, often with an A that goes with them to the sign. Well, the first thing I think of is like mainstream music or media, like popular stuff. Where they put the like special needs into the main school. Where my teachers. Choices, of course. Okay. Kids that are populations that are not as 
in the mainstream that aren't with like regular kids and stuff like that, mainstreaming them is bringing them in so they can reach the same like level of functioning or just be in the same community as like a lot of other populations. Um, pretty much what everyone else does. You mainstream a river of water, leave it into the ocean. Mainstreaming, as in what everyone else does when it comes to computers, TV, television, sports, games, whatever. Just anything that everyone else does. So. Uh, I think mainstreaming is when they we put um, see deaf people in normal schools and situations where they can just interact with others that aren't deaf. Okay. So who are hearing? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what is hearing? What does that mean? Uh, to, um, well, people who can normally hear and don't have to use American Sign Language. Being able to listen to other people. Oh, oh my God. Your sense of hearing and then um, when you go to a trial. To listen. They can hear sounds, um, voices, people speaking, music, pretty clear. They hear and they can learn many things that will improve their lives and help them progress as they go along. If I say Gallaudet, what is that? Do you know? No. Gallaudet. No idea. Isn't that the man who um, was at the like Gallaudet University in DC? Biden. Gallaudet. Gallaudet. Um, when I say Gallaudet, what comes to mind? A lot of things. I think that's the name of a university where they teach sign language, isn't it? Any guesses? Boy, I must be in debt. <laughs> <laughs> that I have no idea. Call of debt. It's my third great grandma. Third great grandma. Is there a really? No! <laughs> I was like, maybe there's that last name. I don't know. <laughs> Can I see it written? Yes. Not a clue. <laughs> on the skull and it goes into the like, middle ear. It um, helps the hearing and the nerve No, I, I mean, I'm guessing it has something to do with the ear, and that's all I know. It's an implant that goes up into the cochlea so that people who have hearing disabilities can hear. It's a mechanical way of hearing. I'm not positive, but I think it uh, has to do with inside the ear and uh, some kind of a uh, device or something that helps people hear.
feeling for somebody, feeling oppressed, sadness. The word oppression, what comes to mind when I say that? Somebody making things difficult for another person. Down. Um, low. Oppression. What comes to mind? Holocaust. It probably doesn't really hit it for me. Um, just being in a low state. Do you think that there is oppression in America still? Definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. With who? Because there's no longer slavery, so what might oppression involve? Um, I think a lot of people aren't given the same, like, respect and stuff like that, and some people, um, like, are looked down upon, maybe, like, illegal aliens, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about you? Um... I kind of think in a way that, uh, like, people, we've created an environment that allows people to oppress themselves. Like, a lot of times we see uh, certain ethnic groups that are not being as successful, not because we are trying to keep them down, but because we're creating an environment that doesn't allow them to blossom as they, as, they, as they could. Do you think that maybe deaf people experience oppression? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, I never really thought about this. Uh, I don't know. Possibly. I, I'm really not familiar enough. I don't really know. I think we got what we need. So.